Hey everyone, my name is Tasia. Welcome back to my channel and to another spoiler video. So this video is not about effortless bentos. This is just what I had on my desk to cover the kit that is under here. I have three kits. Um, this is going to be for the mystery kit that will be shipping for the month of August. So if you are currently signed up, this is what's going to be sent to you. If you want to sign up, sign ups are from the 1st through the 11th, uh, or excuse me, through the 10th of August and then the kits will ship anywhere between the 15th and the 17th of the month just depending on where those days fall so if the 15th is on a Sunday then it'll be shipped on the 16th and uh, so on. Uh, the kit comes in three different sizes. We have vertical, horizontal, and itty bitty, and they're all just $25, and that includes everything. That includes all of the stickers, that includes the shipping worldwide, and it also comes with a bonus item as well. Um, for those of you who don't know, we do a mystery subscription every month, and the mystery subscription, um, it's never month specific. So you're not going to be getting stickers that say, you know, this is for October or or it won't be dated in any way. They're either seasonal or they're just like a really fun design. Um, each month you'll receive a variety of themed planner stickers similar to what you'll get in a regular monthly kit plus a few extras. Um, after the initial purchase, you'll be billed on the 11th of each month. If you need to cancel, skip, or edit your billing information, you can do that. You just need to do it before on the 10th or before. Um, so for those of you, I know some of you skip certain months. If you're reinstating your plan, just pay attention to the date because for some reason when you reinstate it, it reinstates you for the following month. So it'll say uh, September instead of August. If that's the case, just send me an email, support at sweetkawaiidesign.com and I can get that uh, fixed up for you. But these kits are valued uh, over $55 worth of stuff, but you get everything for just $25. Coupons aren't applicable on the subscription kits. And another piece of advice I have um, would be if you are signing up for the first time for a subscription kit, place it in a separate order because say you order it on the first, the kits aren't gonna ship until the 15th through the 17th. So if you have other goodies in there, one, they're not gonna ship until the 15th to the 17th, and two, you can't use a coupon on them. So I would just separate them. Um, but without further ado, is that it, ado? <laughs> Let's do the spoiler. So if you don't want to see what's under this book, then just skip on out and I'll see you in my next video. If you want to see what's under here, just keep watching. All right, so this month's kit. I'm so excited about this kit, you guys. I had one design. We even started pushing it into production and there was something about it. I just didn't love it. So I scratched the whole plan and I went with this one and I'm really excited about the changes. The colors are just so soft and pretty and with fall coming around it has that nice fallish tone and uh, let me, I'm going for the vertical. So you get a ton of stickers. It's definitely worth the price. Um, this is the first page here. So the first page you have your stickers that you can put down to show when your mystery kit gets paid, when it ships, and then some cute little decorative ones. And then I did a bunch of fall full boxes. I really like doing full boxes that are really functional like this. They're still really pretty, but you have a little bit of space to write things in. And then you have ones that of course are just completely decorative. So that's page one. Page two, this is the color scheme. So you get a bunch of headers. You don't get enough to do three a day every day for the entire month, but you get like 69 headers. Um, the reason why I took away some headers is that I wanted to make room for other stickers. So you still get a ton of these. Um, page three, you have your blank schedules, your meal planning, some bill due, and then some fun fall leaves. And I didn't know what to call this one, so it's called It's Fall, y'all. <laughs> So that is the name of this kit. The next page you have really fun checklists. So I made some decorative checklists and then I also made just some functional checklists. I thought these were really pretty because even if you didn't want to use it as a checklist, you could just decorate the column or you could put it this way. It's pretty versatile. So that's page number four. Page number five, you get those full box, the functional style with some half boxes on the bottom. 
page number six, you get your full box lists. I had some people ask me why I stopped doing the heart lists, and I'll still do the heart lists from time to time, but I wanted to make them a little more gender neutral. I was talking to some guys in the planner community, and while they loved the stickers, they weren't too fond of the hearts, and I don't blame them. Even girls don't like the hearts, so that's why I switched it up, um, but again, it it comes from time to time. The hearts will come back when, when appropriate. Um, so page number seven, you have a bunch of fun little decorative stickers. So you have your grocery shopping, you have Poe. I don't know why I included this one. I just love it. It's Poe with heart eyes and drool. So you could do it on plans that you really like, or maybe you're eating something really yummy, or maybe you're getting happy mail, or all kinds of different reasons why you could use drooling Poe, but you have that. You have Petunia having a bad day, George with some socks, and then Petunia with some coffee. You have some planners, cleaning, crafty time. You have your bill do stickers, um, and then some full boxes or one full box, and some other fun decorative stickers down there. And then you have your uh, weekend banners, sorry. You have your weekend banners, you have your habit trackers. For these, I changed them up and they say chores, because um, I thought that would come in really handy when you got chores to do, <laughs> so that's that. And then you have these quarter boxes here that I really, they're so simplistic but pretty. I really like those. So that's page number eight. Page, where's page number nine? Oh, I'm all over the place. Page number nine, I could not go without putting this really pretty wood print. So these are just full boxes. I thought they would be really nice to like layer things on. It's just a really nice accent color. So you have all of those full boxes and then you have some quarter boxes down there. You have your date covers, which are these really cute leaves. And then you have just some cute decorative fall stuff. So you have your rider boots, or riding boots, you know, those tall ones. And then your rain boots, kind of like a hunter boot. Um, your three wick candles. You have the critters dressed up all fall like corn leaves, uh, lattes, pies, just fun fall things to make your planner a little more decorative. And then you have your canceled banners as well as some TV planning. You have a full sheet of half boxes, some decorative, some very functional. And then you have your bottom washi, which I really love. They're just really simple and you can flip flop them. So say you wanted to do the green and they're both the same size. So that's another thing that changed. In the vertical, I used to cut the one, but this is really nice when you have your planner. Let me see if I have an example. Is this the planner I'm using right No, it's not. <laughs> that's my old planner. Let's see. Um, see, like this. So across the bottom, it just goes from edge to edge, which is really pretty. It, cut, it takes up a little bit of your sidebar, but you can easily layer stickers over it. I thought it gave a good option because you can cut it too if you wanted to um, versus the trimmed one. So that is the bottom washi. I would be showing you guys the bonus item right about now, but things got held up in transit and I really debated doing the new, um, the spoiler video and without the bonus item, but the bonus item, I can just tell you now, I'm going sight unseen so I can't tell you too much because if it doesn't work out, I don't want you guys to be like, what the heck, she said we were getting this, but it's really pretty and it's going to complement this kit perfectly. It comes on Thursday, so I don't know, maybe I can post the um, spoiler in my Instagram stories of just that bonus item. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys wanna leave that a complete mystery or I can give you a peek on Instagram. Let me know. So. That is the vertical. We have horizontal and itty bitty. When it comes to the horizontal and vertical, I say this every time, I'm gonna say it again, they're practically the same. The only difference is that the full boxes are slightly shorter, so you'll see them side by side. The width is still one and a half inches, but the height, this one is 1.9 inches, this one is 
three, like, and some change. Um, so that's the only difference. Everything else about it, exactly the same. The washi tape, I think, is slightly thinner. Not even noticeably thinner when, uh, I mean, when you're looking at it. Let me see. If anything, it's like a really, really tiny fraction. Uh, it's just size to fit the horizontal planner. So that is the horizontal. And then let me show you the itty bitty because the itty bitty is cute and tiny. I just want to make sure that you're picking the right size because the itty bitty is just... It's real tiny. So <laughs> this is the first page. You get all the exact same stickers. Sometimes you actually get a little more because I can fit more on the page. Um, but here are the full boxes. So you'll notice these are standing just a little over an inch tall. They are an inch wide. Uh, so big difference between the two. All three kits have the same size icons because all of the icons are itty bitty. So you have that and then you have your list headers definitely tiny and then let me know what you guys think so I use the to-do headers sometimes I don't do you guys use them do you want them all blank let me know what you guys think about that of course not for this kit because it's already been produced but going forward I'll take it into consideration so we have that this one you have your um, blank schedules your meal planning your bill due and then you get some more leaves because I had more room and you have more bill dues because I had room to put that next up you have your checklists and then we have the full boxes so pretty your full box lists and everything has been sized down in the itty bitty kit. Let me take that back. Not everything has been sized down, but you remember um, like the quarter boxes and the half boxes were the same size in all three kits. And it really didn't make sense for the itty bitties because they were a lot bigger. <laughs> so now everything is sized down. Um, this one, again, all the icons are the same. The words are the same, but these are smaller. So you can see the difference there. So this is what I'm saying about the quarter boxes. I think those are so adorable. I write too big to utilize these for the most part, but it's perfect to write like an appointment time or just a small little, little something. Or if you have tiny writing, then you're golden. So that is page eight. Page nine, again, you have those full boxes and the quarter boxes. You have your date covers. And then you have these guys. And then you have your, so this is what I'm talking about. So before all of the boxes were this big, but now there's definitely been a size down. So these are an inch wide again. And these are an inch and a half wide. And then you have your washi, your bottom washi. So I fit it all on one page when it comes to the itty bitty, but you're still getting the same amount of strips. Actually, yes you're still getting the same amount of strips. <laughs> so that is it. I hope you guys like the new design. Definitely let me know what you guys think, how you feel about the headers. And if you wanna see that mystery or the bonus item in my Instagram stories when I get it, I'm supposed to be getting it like Thursday, I think, if all goes according to plan. Um, but yeah, I will link down below in the description bar um, where you can go to sign up for this. And also, if you missed it, we are doing a PR team search because uh, so that, uh, our current PR team is going to be up at the end of August. So we're going to be starting a new term. It's a three month term. Um, and I'll have all the details for that as well on my website. There's a little button you can click that says PR team. I would love if you applied, if you have a love for planning and love to share on your social medias and that type of good stuff. But yeah, until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.